My name is Tamara Dean. I'm an artist. I'm currently working uh, in the realm of installation, photography and painting. So I'm really excited to be the artist in residence at the University of New South Wales. It's an incredible opportunity to have this wonderful space to work within and to be able to conceive this work that I really need to kind of take out of my imagination and make real in a very physical way. So my work is largely about humans and our relationship with nature, um, but a large part of the work that I've produced over the last 10 years has been about the rituals and rites of passage that people create for themselves in nature. In terms of the progression of my work, um, the photojournalistic career that I, I ran alongside my art practice um, and I've largely moved away from. Um, that idea of being in the here and now that was present in that early work is now presenting itself in a, in a, in a completely different way, um, in a more conceptual way. This particular work came about because I did an artist residency in upstate New York and I made this work called The Artists and I thought it was a really great uh, opportunity to talk to people about the way they felt about nature. So I found that largely um, most people felt that it was a spiritual experience but not in the traditional sense of spirituality, more in the sense that in this incredibly technologically saturated world that we're in now it was about arriving in the here and now and that's how I came to the title of this particular work. Let's try that. So the main thing I want people to both experience within the work and take away from it is, uh, a, I guess, a moment of pause and reflection and uh, an intentional experience of arriving in the here and now. So this is like a really um, earthy, woodsy mushrooms, but I've sort of put a bit of violet into it. I asked scent designer Ainsley Walker to collaborate with me to come up with a scent for this particular work. Uh, what we discussed was that I wanted a sense of, of the element of water. I wanted to be able to smell the earth and the rotting leaves and the smell of kind of rain coming. That elemental sense that you really get from being in the bush. For me it sort of feels like I'm building on my previous photography uh, practice but it's a massive leap in terms of where I'm taking the work. I guess like anything new I'm incredibly anxious about how it's both going to um, come together in a very practical way and also uh, how people will receive it. Uh, so the installation is a space as much as it also is an experience. So from the moment you arrive at the door and um, enter sort of a darkened space, you're having to kind of engage with the work because there'll be a scent which is imbued in the air which is supposed to start registering or you know imbuing your experience of the darkness. Then as your eyes adjust, you walk down a corridor and come to a point at which you walk into the installation that I've built. You'll find that there is a photograph of um, a riverbank, uh, which I took on the Turon River. So there's water across the floor, and then there's mirrors on either wall, the length of the room. So the effect being, when you walk out into the center of that space, uh, both the image in front of you and your own reflection are projected into infinity. Um, so what I'm trying to achieve there is to play into the idea of being in the here and now in infinite time and space but also the reflective quality of being in nature. It's a, a mysterious trip, it's very mystical, uh, very calming, you feel you're in a wonderful sort of sacred place. I've come out of seeing that feeling that uh, you know, it harks back on my own time living in the bush, you know, that smell after the rain and the, you know, the, the impending storms and the, the feeling that the bush is talking to us. I loved it. Um, I like quiet works. 
I like entering into an environment. I love the senses, especially in my old age. I like quieter works which I can... It's basically a reflective work which you immerse yourself in. So here at the UNSW, the Creative Practice Lab supports all the artists, um, artists in residencies, and it's been great working with Tamara. She definitely kind of brought the visual art aesthetics and ideas that I otherwise probably wouldn't work with and help her realise that installation piece, which has been great. And with this exhibition, it's more of a sensory and spiritual um, immersion. And to see this metamorphosis of her work, it's just an incredible experience.